Have you ever had one of those days that is just like the worst day ever? Yeah, well, I kind of discovered that a lot of that has to do with your attitude. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And uh, yeah, if there was ever a candidate for worst day ever, um, I definitely had this the other day because, well, okay, so I love storms. I love falling asleep when the, the, the storms are going on outside. There's thunder outside and, and there's the rain coming down and it's so nice. But, but a big problem with this is, uh, well, sometimes the lightning can shut off all the power. And when the lightning shuts off all the power in your house, that includes alarm clocks. Yeah. So the other day, it was a Monday, and uh, there was a storm the night before that, and the, it, it, it killed my alarm clock. And so I, I woke up, and my dog, Roscoe, was licking me on the face. And so I was like, ew, gross, Roscoe, stop that. And I, I got up out of bed, and I looked out the window, and it was bright outside. And I, it's never bright outside when I wake up in the morning to get ready for school. And I looked over at my alarm clock, and yeah, it was not working, okay? And so I, because I, it plugs into the wall. It doesn't look like it plugs into the wall, but it does plug into the wall. And and so I, I quickly got up out of bed, and I realized my whole house, everybody in my house was late. My dad was late. My mom was late. My brother was We were all late. I was the first one to wake up. And so I quick, I went and I told everybody in the house, I was like, we slept in, we slept in. Because, you know, all of our alarm clocks were broken. And so, so we quick, we got all our stuff together, and we went out. My dad went to work, and my mom took me and my brother to school because we missed the bus, so we had to get dri driven to school. And this, this was the start to the worst day ever. Because, okay, first of all, I was late for school. And because we had to, you know, kind of be in a panic, we had to miss the bus and all this stuff. And, and my mom, she couldn't make us lunch. And it was just, it was crazy getting out of the house. And so, we, but we did, we got out of the house and we got to school. And I realized that I had forgotten my folder. You know, I had my backpack, but I didn't have the folder. And my folder had... The assignment that I had to do, I, I was working on it all weekend. I had to write a paper about about Abraham Lincoln, and I had worked so hard on this thing, and I did not have the paper to give to my teacher. And then, and then also, okay, so I didn't have my lunch, and and so I had to get the school lunch. And at school lunch, they were having fried eggplant. And you know, I don't mind vegetables. I I like asparagus quite a lot, but eggplant is like some sort of mutant between like an egg and a plant it's like a genetic abomination okay it is so slimy and nasty and i hate it they, they slopped it onto my plate and i just ugh, i hate it eggplant is the worst and so so i had to all this stuff is all piling up and we finally get home after school it's the worst day and i i come in and i walk into my room and as soon as i open the door I realized right that second that we had forgotten to let Wasco out. So Wasco left me, uh, he left me a present in my room. I'm not going to tell you what it was, but I can tell you that it stinks. Uh, and I had to clean it up after him and it was, oh, it was so mad. It was just, it was just the worst day ever, okay? And so I'm finally, I go, I go into the living room and I sit down on the couch and I start watching TV and I saw something that really changed my attitude. Because you see, um, there was this, this big forest fire, and it's still burning, I think, out in, like, the northwest of America. And, and it's burning down all kinds of stuff. Like, whole towns are getting burned up in this forest fire, and it's, it's really scary. And they showed this family whose house got burnt down. And I thought to myself, well, at least I'm not them. And, and, and the, the interviewer, he's talking to them. And, well, first of all, they looked kind of happy. And when the interviewer was talking to them, they said, they said, we are so grateful to be alive and okay they lost everything they lost their whole house all they had left was each other and instead of being like uh my xbox was in there they said we are grateful we're happy to be alive and so they they had a better attitude about life than i did and it's because they had an attitude of gratitude yeah i was thinking i'm so glad i'm not them but they were happier than I was, and it was all about gratitude. It was all about them being grateful. So here's something that's kind of interesting, something that's kind of hard to understand sometimes, is the happiest person is not the person with the most stuff. Mm -mm. No. 
or even the most friends. The happiest person is the person who is most grateful for what they have, even if they don't have very much. You could have somebody who has so many things and everything's going right for them all the time, but they, they, they're not happy anyways. And that's because of their attitude, the way that they view their stuff and what's going on in their lives. And then you can have other people who, wow, they don't have barely anything, but they're thankful to God for what they have. And so they're happy, which is crazy. And you know what? I, I started thinking about my day and all the bad things that happened, and I was focused on the bad stuff, right? But there was actually all kinds of good stuff that happened. Yeah, and actually the bad stuff that happened was actually, in the end, good stuff. So like, okay, first of all, we woke up late, which was not a good thing. But my dog, Wasco, he woke us up. And if he hadn't woken us up, then we wouldn't have woken up maybe at all. Maybe we would have missed the whole school day. Who knows? And yeah, I had been working on that class assignment about Abraham Lincoln all weekend. But my teacher actually let me do a spoken test, which I didn't even know that was a thing. So he just sat me down and he asked me about the facts that I put into my paper. And he gave me an A+. Plus, okay? A plus. And I promise you, well, I'm I'm not that great of a writer yet, so I, I'll bet you that I would not have gotten anything better than maybe a B minus on that paper, even though I worked really hard on it. I probably wasn't going to get higher than a B minus, but I got an A plus. And yes, I still do believe that eggplant is an abomination, but Everything else in the school lunch was really good. They had lots of good stuff. They had like chips and they had they had macaroni and things. And, and actually, I kind of think maybe I might get the school lunch again sometime. I, I usually get what my mom makes me. And yeah, you know, Roscoe did make a mess in my room. But you know what? Roscoe is a really, really great dog. Yeah, he's a really he's like my friend. He he does stuff and he he plays with me and he does tricks and things. And he he woke me up in the morning. So that's a great dog. So yeah, maybe I have to clean up after him every once in a while, but he is a great dog. And so if I if I had spent that whole day being grateful about the good things happening in my life, then that horrible day would have been a great day. It should have been a great day. And in fact, it was a great day. But all I had to do was change my attitude. I needed to be grateful for the good things I was getting, we're grateful to God because every good thing that we get in life is from God. And if we're grateful to Him, then our lives are going to be even better. If we have an attitude of gratitude, our lives will be the lives that God has planned for us. So that's my, my challenge to you guys is that you guys would be grateful and you'd be thankful to God for all the awesome things that he gives you, even when things are not so great, even when things seem bad, because there's always something to be grateful about. If you focus on the good things in your life and you're thankful to God for the good things happening instead of just being mad about all the bad things that happen, then you will have the best life ever, even if things seem really bad. You know what I am grateful for? is you. Yeah, you guys are the best ever. You guys are so great. Thank you guys so much for for sharing this video and for liking and subscribing and, and leaving your comments. I love talking to you guys. You guys are so cool. It's so exciting to, you know, to look and see the little comments down there and, and, and see that there's somebody who wants to talk to me. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for supporting us too. Thank you for supporting this ministry through through your prayers especially and also through Patreon. And, and, you know, you guys, every time I think about you guys, it just makes me happy. And I'm so grateful to God for such a cool group of people. And I, I really hope that these videos are a real blessing to you because you guys are a real blessing to me.